Okay, this tutorial is on how to create an email for your Dropbox so you can give to your students or you yourself uh, can email maybe a PDF file or be in Keynote um, and email your Keynote to your Dropbox. Um, that's the way I use it. You could also use it as a share folder again where you give students this email and allows them to uh, email um, email you your their assignment or assignments and it goes to a certain location on the Dropbox without them actually having to have a Dropbox account. So the service is called send to dropbox.com send to dropbox.com as soon as you come to this web page and it loads you click on connect to Dropbox Then it gives you an email address. There's mine. But you can click on this, I want a different address, which I'll go ahead and do. And type in your favorite word. I can go ahead and type in the word lion, or I can type in my last name. If it's for students, that might be a good recommendation. get new email address so there's my new email address conkle underscore 88q2 at sendadropbox.com next how should we organize it by default it's going to put uh, all of anything that's sent to this email is going to be put in the at attachments folder it'll create one in the Dropbox in fact it creates it upon um, you assigning this application rights to use Dropbox. So I've got here attachments and file name, but if this is for students, it could be attachments, then the from email address, subject, and then file name or subject date then file name. And what it's going to show up like in Dropbox is, I'll show you on mine here, there's attachments, here's of course CIS 102, my email address, my from address, the date I sent it, and the file that was sent. So in essence, if you have a class called CIS 102, um, the first attribute, if it was email, will show up like such. Um, but if you wanted to organize it better, one of the ways you could do it, instead of being the from address right after attachment, you could have the subject being the next one. So you could tell students specifically uh, put in the subject this word could be assignment one assignment two so on and so forth and then from that after the subject could that could then be the from address then date then file name So I'll go ahead and practice this and send a example. I'm going to go ahead and fire up uh, Keynote on my Mac, but this could be Keynote on your iPad as well. When you go to export it, there is an option in, in uh, the iPad Keynote version to export via email. While that's loading, let me go ahead and open up an example. copy this email address and once this service is loaded one of the first things it did not do on my screen here because I've already set it up is it will prompt you when you go to send to dropbox.com and click on um, 
go to Dropbox, it will ask you for rights to connect to Dropbox. Okay, so here's a keynote, and I'm going to export this. Let's go ahead and do it in a PDF format. Okay, here I've started an email, uh, created a new email, put in the to field, my Dropbox, send to Dropbox email. Subject line, I'm going to put CIS 102 assignment 1. And I, I attach the PDF file. If we could pretend this is your student's work that they're sending to you. I'm going to go ahead and send it. Go to open Dropbox. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes to send it and and receive it in Dropbox. Then you'll go into Attachments, and there is the subject line today, CS 102 Assignment 1. I can open that up. There's my email address, the from, then the date it was sent and time, and the file. Now to make it easier organizing it, um, you might want to leave out the date. So be the name of the assignment and then the email of the student. No date, just go right to the file name. You can do that as well. And in order to do that, simply just going back into uh, the drag and drop and so be attachment, subject, from, get rid of date, and go right to file name. And so that concludes how to use Send to Dropbox. And it's a cool tool to use. Uh, this way students do not have to set up a Dropbox account each semester. And you can change the email to, from semester to semester very easily just by logging in to the Send a Dropbox, clicking on want to change or want a different address, and then you can change that address. Hope this helps.